Whether you choose to use the first, second, or third option to get your files onto Google Drive, you need to make sure that when you go to share them that they are set to a privacy setting that whoever you want to be able to see and download the files is able to do so. So I'm going to show you three times how to do that. So the first option we uh, created a folder and then we uploaded the files inside the folder. Um, if I want to share this, I need to select the item and hit this little icon up here in the top right hand corner, which is a link which gives you a shareable link. And when you click on that, it'll process for a second. And then it will say that it cannot share it because the privacy settings are set to private. And so I'm going to turn link sharing on, which allows me to share. And it says that anyone at Salt Lake Community College with the link can view. And so I could copy and paste this link it would require anybody who's viewing the content to be able to log in with their Bruin Mail account. There are different options though that you can choose and if you choose share settings you'll see what these are and so you can change this from anyone at Salt Lake Community College can edit which you probably don't want to do or view or if we choose more you actually have five different options so you can just make it public so anybody with the link uh, anybody who kind of searches for something that maybe in the metadata can find it. I don't think I would suggest that. If you're feeling uh, open-minded, I would say choose anyone with the link because then uh, anybody who looks at your file in the discussion thread will be able to access it. You can also choose anyone at Salt Lake Community College or anyone at Salt Lake Community College with the link or you can make it specific. So maybe you do not want other students to be able to download your native file. You can choose specific people and hit save and then you could enter my email address down here, which is jkern5 at bruinmail.slcc.edu. Now that only works if I'm your teacher, so make sure that you enter your teacher's bruinmail.slcc.edu. Make sure that you enter your teacher's email address.